All right, now we're going to look at the old system of authority granting, specifically for published information. When I say published information, I mean information that's publicly available, like newspapers, books, magazines, etc., etc., before the web. Right? So before the web, our published information really took mostly those forms, maybe also television and radio, those were published forms of information. And I'm going to zero in specifically on the idea of expertise. And the diagram that you see here is sort of a flow chart. It's a series of steps that explains how, um, how a decision is made to publish a research article. So of all the different kinds of information, the research article is the one that goes through the most rigorous process to decide whether or not it should be published. And so that's what I want to focus on. And obviously, this same idea applies to television shows, it applies to magazines and newspapers and books and all that other stuff, but I wanted to show you one that was the most rigorous because it most clearly outlines the difference between the old way of establishing authority and the new ways of establishing authority. So the old way of establishing authority is all about expertise. If you're an expert on a subject, then you get to say whether or not this new piece of information on that subject is authoritative or not. So the thing, the major thing to notice about this diagram here is it's all about people. People, 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 people. Editor's decision. The editor is a person. To first review, those reviewers are people. Decision. Somebody, a person, makes the decision. Second review. People. Decision. Second review. Uh, uh, decision. People. It's all about people and it's all about people who are already considered to be authorities making a decision about whether this next thing should be, uh, should be produced. So uh, books have publishers, those publishers serves as, serve as the authority, they serve as the experts and they decide whether the new book gets to be published. In a magazine, magazines have editors, in a newspaper, newspapers have editors, those editors are exactly the same idea. They're all about um, deciding whether this thing gets through the gate. So the old notion of authority, the old notion of whether or not a piece of information gets to be at all in the public realm is all about expertise and it's all about gatekeepers, people who are already in, they already have some established amount of credibility, authority in the field and they get to decide what next things come into the field. And that's really the basis of how authority has worked for a very, very long time in published information.